Late in the afternoon of July 2nd, after the collapse of the Union line of the Peach Orchard, the Confederate infantry in front of us threatened to pour through a gap in the Union line here. When Major General Winfield S. Hancock, commander of the Union 2nd Corps, rode up to assess the situation, only one regiment that was at hand to stop the Confederate tide, the 1st Minnesota. My God, are these all the men we have here? Hancock asked. It was, but they'd have to do. Charge those lines, shouted Hancock, and immediately the lone regiment swept down on the slope at double quick. With leveled bayonets, the Minnesotians, crashed into Brigadier General Camus M. Wilcox's Alabamians, who out outnumbered them four to one. The charge broke the Confederate ranks and stalled the Southerners long enough for Union reinforcements to arrive. The Union line was saved, but at a terrific cost. According to a regimental officer of the 262 Minnesotans in the charge, only 47 escaped death or injury. Quote from Lieutenant William Lochran. Every man realized in an instant what that order meant, death or wounds to us. The sacrifice of a regiment to gain a few minutes' time.